Okay. My first little singing bowls. They're just brass. They're 40 bucks. I want the crystal frosted ones, but those get into hundreds of dollars, but I will get them. So I think the thing is about this is that it is the rock. You are the pond. It is the rock. I am the pond. Feels really good. I just have two of them, a couple different pitches. I think they're a minor third apart. So, pretty excited about that. All right, so, how have you been? I, uh, everyone's a little crazy, but I won't abandon you for the holidays. I think we need to do a chakra ride all the way through and, uh, condense a little unity prayer at the end. Sounds good. Let's go. Just get comfortable laying down <clears throat> any way you can. And you're going to start with the red ball in the V of your pelvis. The root chakra, it is red. It turns to the right. It is electric masculine. Just let it do its thing. Just look at it like it's not part of you. And now make it part of you by shaping it how you want. Is it nicely rounded? Is it perfectly spherical? What's its luminosity? What's its color of red? Make it right for the holidays. You know, you gotta start with a softball, you go to a golf ball, and how about down to a quarter? Make it small. And now give it a spin to the right and see what comes up. Yeah, engine is running. We got a little filament of light. We're going to take off that through our right hip, down through your thigh, your knee, your ankle, and boom, it's in the middle of the earth. It's intertwining with the light there, and it comes back up strong. Boom, right into your left foot your ankle, your calf, your knee, your thigh, your hip, and back into the red ball in your pelvis. You are anchored to the earth. And that will help you stay steady and reach for the stars. Next one up is orange. It's behind your belly button. Your sacral chakra is your creativity, your childlike playfulness, your sexuality, your imagination. Orange light flees. It is movement itself. Spin it to the left. It is feminine. It is magnetic. How's it looking? Even out the color. Maybe hose it down a little. Clean it up. Size it right. You can start big and move it down. Softball, golf ball, quarter, next to the red. Hook it on, you've got a crazy eight. Contrary motion, one flow. See it. Orange to the left, red to the right. Orange, red, orange, red. A little crazy eight, infinity pattern while the red. Give a little tug on that, going into your hip. Make sure that's tight. So you got a couple of pulleys going. A little light engine started. Moving up one to the yellow sunshine in the middle of your ribs, your solar plexus. I feel like this is a good solar plexus note. I don't even know what note it is. Yellow ball to the right, electric, masculine, 
energy source to the world in connection to the great sun beyond our universe. The sun powers all. Spin it to the right. It might be a little tired. We've had a lot of low, we just set a record for low solar activity in the space age. And people are tired. We've got the home stretch on Christmas, rattled nerves, long hours. When you're having trouble with fatigue, go to your yellow in your rib cage and give a little spin. Remember this moment where you can pour light from the sun into your rib cage. And feed that yellow ball the universal energy field. And the yellow ball, softball, golf ball, quarter, latches on to the other colors. We've got yellow to the right, orange to the left, red to the right, orange to the left, yellow to the right. Spin it, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, orange. You've got a three-part little contrary motion machine, one flow. Going up one, two, the green. Left spinning, heart chakra in your chest. It is the astral plane between the earth ground and the cosmic sky. The fourth dimension itself, it is our goal in life to cross to the fourth dimension from wherever we are. Spin it to the left, sometimes that Green heart chakra gets a little big this time of year. Sometimes it shrivels up into a raisin. Doesn't matter your problem, get it back to center. You want it a softball size. If it's too big, cut it, spin it and cut it and let it fall off like an apple on a peeler thing. And if it's too little, pump it up with air and water. Slap it around, make it come back to life. Whatever your problem is, center the green ball, size it, softball, golf ball, quarter, latch it up with the others. Green ball to the left, yellow to the right, yellow, orange to the left, red to the right, orange to the left, yellow to the right, green to the left. Green, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, Oh, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green. Oh! I don't know, something... Something says A about that to me, but... We have our throat chakra. It is our truth. It spins to the right. It is the sky. Picture yourself in the middle of the earth with a perfect dome blue sky over you like you're a miniature person in a snow globe and you've got the whole thing around you without any of the earth obstruction in the way, just you in the sky. And then spin that half circle dome around you all the way, spinning like you're holding still and the sky is spinning. And then hit a switch for a box behind your neck like the Ghostbusters machine where they catch ghosts. And when you hit that switch with your foot, the whole sky just gets captured in a spiral into your throat. You are your truth by your very thoughts and words. So keep it clean. I'm not saying repress the dark stuff, but the holographic nature of reality really appreciates clear language. Be direct. State your case and don't get all fancy dancy and double negatives or stating things funny. Be clear with the universe and it will receive and return. Going up one to the we're left spinning, dark blue, magnetic, cosmic third eye in the middle of your forehead represents the color between the ground and the dark, the light and the dark, the twilight color of the cosmic door. Have it go from softball to golf ball to quarter. Latch it up with the sky blue in your throat going to the right, 
green in your chest going to the left, yellow in your rib cage going to the right, orange in your tummy going to the left, and red in your pelvis going to the right. So I'm just going to say colors because my words are starting to get a little red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Two dings for that one. Hmm. All the way up top, we have a purple halo. I love it like a little hula hoop. Little vile, violet flame circle with like purple flames all over it. If you lay that, it's spinning to the right, it's electric. And if you lay it flat, then it really is a halo on your head. And then if you draw your attention up to it, you realize that it's sort of a cone thing that goes all the way up above you where things come in through and you go out of, it's connected to your electrical prana tube flow through the middle of your body. Your spirits, your guides, your animal helpers, your deceased loved ones, everything to do with God, pure consciousness, pure love, is in that purple circle. All you have to do is hold space with it. Spinning to the right, the purple circle, tip it upright, make it a ball, a solid purple sphere, softball, golf ball, quarter. Latch it onto the other quarters, Spinning to the right, the purple on top, dark blue to the left, light blue to the right, green to the left, yellow to the right, orange to the left, red to the right, orange to the left, yellow to the right, green to the left, sky blue to the right, dark blue to the left, and purple to the left. Here we go, colors up and down twice. Purple, dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, purple, dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, purple. All right. I'll buy that one. All right, so with your light body hands, take the cord that you have threaded through the contrary motion as the one flow and pull it from below you and above you and tighten up these things. Give them all like one last little squeeze. Let any juice or kind of tighten it up and then let go. And there you have aligned your light, your particle accelerators of your light body, your chakras. So what we're gonna do from there is go back to our heart and think about this world in our favorite place to be in nature. Notice what's there, what trees, what animals, what it sounds like, how hot it is. Just be there for a second and open your heart to that place and your love of Mother Earth. And then take that scene in a little tiny marble and shrink it down to a grain of sand. And even smaller than that to a microscopic blood cell. And then shoot that down through your prana tube to Mother Earth and wait for her response. The mother will always respond because the mother loves you. You are her child. When Mother Earth sends an image back, 
a little movement in the scenery, anything. You accept it with love and you have now opened the connection between you and the mother. Leaving that there, you're going to go to the sky and you're going to picture yourself the last time you really saw the night sky and the incredible sense of wonder and awe you have about how much bigger the universe is than our world, our reality. And you picture that sky above you and hold that sense of awe you have and realize that's your love for the Father, Father of the sky. And open your heart to all that wonder and then take that crisp, clean air of the night sky and the stars burning so close to you and put it into a little tiny marble and then into a grain of sand and then into a microscopic blood cell and into your heart. And then shoot it up like a bank, car bank tube, up through your prana tube to the great creator father in the sky. And you wait. Your father will always respond because you are his child and he loves you. So holding a piece of movement from that scenery, whatever sign you want to take, and realize now that you have created a flow between you and Father Sky. You are now connected to the love of the Father and the love of the Mother at the same time, which can be an unusual experience for human beings. So soak that in and realize it is a holy triangle as you are one corner of it. The Holy Child Father Sky and Mother Earth, the original Trinity. So now that you know what this love feels like, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to take a cup and put it in the waterfall of light you have set open in your heart and take some of that light in from the cup and then pour it out into the air and watch it make a balloon with a string that you're holding on to. And now you're gonna let go of that balloon and give it back to the universe to return it to the creator, to open the flow that what comes in you goes back to where it returns. That's all. Thanks for coming. I'm uh, trying to stay steady the next few days for you. See you soon.